guys, it's Kat Von D, and today I'm super extra excited because I get to do my first ever tutorial using the Mi Vida Loca palette. And I just thought to myself, like, what tutorial do I want to film? Because there's so many colors, so many options. And then I was looking through my Instagram and I found this picture by um, an Instagrammer called uh, Just Call Me Tara. She does a really cool play on colors. Even though it's asymmetrical, it still matches. And then she wrote the sweetest thing. She wrote, um, makeup inspired by the two-tone queen Kat Von D, which I know a lot of you guys know, I have, for years I've been doing like one eye, like a certain color and the other one a different color. And um, just the fact that she noticed, I thought was really cool. And this is gonna be my first time doing this look, so bear with me. Um, uh, I wish Tara was here to help me, but um, since she's not, here we go. So for the first step, of course, I'm going to prime my eyes and I'm gonna use my high voltage eye primer. Because I'm gonna be doing a lot of like high impact color on both the top and the bottom of my lid, I'm gonna make sure to put a little bit of primer on the underside. I looked at the palette and I figured that this shade here, it's a lovely nude shade, it's called Strutter. This will make a perfect groundwork for the color. You wanna just start defining the corners a tad bit. So let's start off with the yellow part of this. So I'm gonna use this vibrant, it's like a marigold. I've named it Fron. I'm really gonna wanna focus on packing it. So instead of using like a really fluffy brush, I'm gonna use a brush like this. It's a little smudge brush. Just pat that on. Because I've already dipped into that yellow here, I'm gonna go ahead and do the underside of the other eye using that same shade, same brush. From the corner of the eye, bringing it out. So we've pretty much established the yellow part of this look, so now let's move on to another color. I was thinking um, a nice electric blue. So if you look at the palette, I thought about hitting up this color synth, and it kind of matches my shirt anyway, so it'll be this color. All right, so now using that nice blending brush that we were using earlier, just patting it on ever so gently. And then we'll go back to that little precise smudge brush that I used earlier for the bottom and let's do the same color on the other side. Okay, so now we've laid out the color scheme. I'm gonna take just a clean fluffy brush and I'm just gonna blend it a little bit. Just gently sweeping it so it starts blending. So now that it's perfectly blended, I'm gonna take this brush, which is my shade and light brush, I use it for everything, it's so amazing. This little point guy is so precise and I can kind of get in the little corners, so I'm gonna use that first and then later on blend it with this guy. I'm gonna use um, this really nice dark brown, it's called Vox. I'm just gonna go ahead and add a little bit of that on the outer corners and then flipping over to the other side, I'm gonna use that domed side and just blend that into the existing brown. I wanna do a little bit of highlighting and overall blending before we move on to eyeliner. So for the yellow parts, I'm going to use this shade right here, and then for the blue, I'm gonna use Skulls, which is a little bit more of a cooler tone that'll blend perfectly with the blue. So now we are definitely ready for some eyeliner, and so I'm going to use my favorite tattoo liner. So I'm basically just gonna follow like the existing lines that I established earlier, making sure everything's even. I noticed on Tara's picture that she definitely used um, a really nice bright complementing color on her waterline. And I'm gonna do the same, but I'm gonna use one of my prototypes that I've been working on. It's not out yet, but you guys can use whatever pencil you want or whatever color you guys feel would fit the look you're doing. Last but not least is eyelashes. And I'm gonna use my Mortal Lash mascara that I usually do, and then um, we'll be done. Awesome, so there you guys have it. I had so much fun doing this tutorial and I hope you guys liked it. I really cannot wait to see what you guys come up with using this palette. 
And I will include everything I used in this look in the description below, and I'll also make sure to put Just Call Me Tara's Instagram info as well, so you guys can follow her and be inspired by her as much as I am. All right, till next time. Whew.